What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Alia if you are new here. I am so excited for today's video. I just recently went into my local pennies. Well, we call it pennies in Ireland, but everywhere else it's called Primark. And they had a ton of new makeup dupes for high-end brands. And I am so excited to try these out and show you. Okay, so I've got so many products here. Some are kind of redundant. Like, I have a few different primers. So, um, the one, the two that I picked up, one of them is this Prep and Perfect Flawless SPF 50 Primer with Vitamin E and Hyaluronic Acid, and this was six euro. The other one is this Prep and Perfect Pore Smoothing Primer, and it says creates a silky smooth makeup base, helps makeup apply evenly and stay put. And this was also six euro. So let me zoom you in. There you go better. So this is what the packaging for the first one looks like. So I know these are dupes for something, but for the life of me, I just can't remember this morning. I knew when I picked them up and then it just completely has escaped me. So if I find the dupe, I will pop it on the screen for you right here for each item. I was really excited. I love a good pore primer. Like you guys know this, but I've been on the hunt for a primer with SPF 50 in it for a really long time. Now, I'm gonna assume this probably isn't like UVA, UVB, but if this works, girl, I'm gonna be using this under my makeup when I'm in Vegas because I wasn't gonna initially wear SPF, which I know is really bad and going in the summer too, but I just did not want my makeup to be looking all like oily and greasy. This feels like a cream, okay. It has a bit of a sunscreen smell. Let's see how this looks under makeup. I'm very excited. I'm really hoping this, this doesn't give like a greasy look to the skin. So right off the bat, it gives a bit of like a shiny sort of tacky vibe, but it's not like overly shiny. Now it does say vitamin E and hyaluronic acid, so it's not gonna be matte. I'm gonna give that a second to set before I go in with the pore primer, but while I'm doing that, look at this cute little sponge that I just picked up. My camera doesn't wanna focus today, it's too bright in here. For once in Ireland. Um, this is the PS Soft Touch Sponge, gently used to blend makeup and primer evenly. Now, do I have to wet this? Let's just, let's just take it out and see. Ooh, that's nice. It's got like a little pocket. Oh yeah, that's good. I'm gonna go get this damp really quick and then we'll come back and do the other primer. Okay, so when you get it damp, it expands. I don't know if you can see that. It's like bubbled out on the side. That's very interesting. So now let's go in with this pore primer because your girl has some pores. Oh, that's not the formula that I was expecting. I'm not sure how I feel about this. <laughs> it's, if you can see, it's like coming out really clumpy and it looks like this. It's also tinted. Okay. I'm like wondering if this is expired, but we're going to try it anyway because we're here. I'll take one for the team. So I'm just going to apply this all around the T-zone. It actually feels like it dries down pretty matte almost which is interesting it's very odd i was expecting it to be more like silicone but it's like it is but it isn't if that makes sense i don't know the texture is very strange so for foundation i have i'm thinking i'm gonna mix two here because i'm not this deep but i'm not this fair this is the ps my perfect color tinted moisturizer and this has a radiant finish with niacinamide and hyaluronic acid and i've said in other videos i think that this is like a spot on exact dupe for the NARS Radiant Light Reflecting Foundation that also has skin loving ingredients in it. So to me, this is exactly the same. I did a wear test. They both wore the same, they both looked the same. So if you're in the market for that, or if you love the NARS Light Reflecting, but you don't want to be spending all that money, give this a go. This sponge is very interesting. It's like, 
The material is not nor like a normal sponge, if you get me. It's very like, I don't even know how to explain it. Almost like rubbery, but not. And normally I've been going in with a brush lately to do my foundation, but I don't have any brushes from Primark and this is a full face of Primark only products. So I didn't want to be cheating. Okay, so I'm not sure if I'm loving this, I'll be honest. It's making my face look a little funny, but I don't know if that's the products underneath or not. I'm gonna go in with like a normal sponge and just press that in and see if we see a difference. I know I love the foundation, so it's definitely not that. I think I'm just used to like a little more coverage with this product because it's normally like a medium coverage, but I don't normally apply it with a damp sponge. I'd normally apply it with a brush, so I would say that's probably the issue. Um, for concealer, I was going to use this because you can get Catrice products. I know this is kind of cheating. You can get Catrice products though in Primark. This is the high coverage concealer with hyaluronic acid, 18 hour wear, but this is gonna be too deep for me. I'm just realizing now I was gonna self tan and then I didn't. So unfortunately the concealer is not gonna be from Primark. Okay, so I'm really not liking this primer, which is so sad, the SPF one. It is just making my makeup look crusty AF. Like, I can like see everything, every imperfection on my face, every pore. I can see where like there's discoloration. It is just not it. And I know that it's not the moist tinted moisturizer because I use this all the time and I love it. And I mean, I've gone over it with a different beauty sponge and it's not blending it in. So the pore primer isn't really doing much for me. I will continue to test these again and see if they're better, but for now, I'm gonna say they're a pass, which is unforge. But we move. So I have a few other exciting bits to share with you. We all know, or probably by now we all know, we see on TikTok that Primark came out with these Charlotte Tilbury wand dupes. So I finally collected all three. We've got all the infinity stones here. I've got the contour, the blush, and the highlight. I also, which I'm just realizing I probably should have done under my makeup, I have the Flawless Glow in two shades. I use this one for bronze and this one for highlights. I should have probably used this under my makeup, so. We're just gonna find a way to like encompass all of these products so that you can see how they all operate. And then I also have this bronze cream, which I think I've used in other videos. So I've got a lot to work with here. Um, I'm gonna go in, I guess, with the contour first. This you really do not need much because it is pigmented and I'm super pale right now. Like, look at that. That is way too dark on my fair skin right now. Probably it was a bad call. Okay, yeah. That was not a good call, Alia. What were you thinking? I also don't really contour anymore like I used to. Um, I just feel like it makes me look older. <laughs> Whereas I used to like the super chiseled look, but now for me, the super chiseled look kind of just makes my face look sunken in and hollow, so it's not really my favorite. So I'm um, lesson learned. If you're fair, don't be using this. I'm gonna go in now with the other one just so that you can kind of see the difference. I'm gonna use this one like on my forehead. This one is much more forgiving. It's also a bit warmer. The other one's definitely like a true contour shade. This one I would say is definitely more of like a bronze. I wanna show you guys how you can use this as a bronzer. Like if it's kind of like almost, it could be a dupe actually to the Drunk Elephant because it's kind of got that light reflecting shimmer quality to it. I really like this actually because it's multifunctional. Like obviously if you Want to use it under makeup, like if I was super duper tan, which I'm clearly not right now, but. <laughs> okay, we're gonna move on into blush. I only have one blush. Actually, that's a lie. Excuse me, I have two. I have the wand one, and then I also have this one, which is a also very clear dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury blush, except it's got this little heart in the middle. I guess we'll, we'll play it like this. It's got the little heart in the middle. The Charlotte Tilbury one just has the circle. So we're gonna go in with this one first. And this is a really nice blush, also super forgiving. 
you can pretty much like go ham with this one and like not have to worry. It's just super nice and light. Gives the perfect glow. It's a really flattering peachy color. I think there may be other shades in this if I'm honest, but I don't know what they are. Or if there is, I haven't seen them in mine, but you know, in Dublin, we don't tend to get as many of the good Primark products as people might be getting over in the UK. So if there is another shade in this, let your girl know. It's just so good, I'm obsessed. Now let's go in with the little blush to top it off just so that we can really get an idea. This also has a bit of a shimmery fleck in it, which is nice. We're gonna be blushing today, girlies. Let's go in with the wand. I have not tried this yet, so it is brand new. There's nothing more satisfying than watching it like come out. Oh yes, Gorgina. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not normally a huge cream blush kind of gal. I love a good powdered blush. I don't know, but this one is really nice. I never was like pulled to spend the money on the Charlotte one, but I mean, this one has glow, okay? I'm seeing it, I'm into it. I've got a million other highlights to show you. The first one I've already showed on this channel, it's this little rose one. It's kind of like a peachy, or it has like a pink undertone, like a cool pink. This is a dupe for the Milani blush. They do the flower. They don't do it in the highlight, I don't believe. The next one is not a dupe that I'm aware of, but I just picked it up because I am a sucker for a gold highlight. Gold is my absolute favorite when I'm tan. So flattering. If you've never tried gold highlight, try it if you have deep skin or if you are tan. So good. The last one is very exciting, and this is a clear Charlotte Tilbury dupe for their recent highlight that came out that has like the multicolors across. So I'm gonna dip into this now. So I just dragged this all across all of these. Mm, I don't know if it's really giving me much or if it's just because it's like pinkish. I don't know, there is, it's, but it's more of like a pinky purpley kind of reflection. It's definitely reflective. Okay, I was wrong. My lighting in front of me is not as good as where the camera is, so let's just get a closer. Oh, that is really pretty. Okay. I don't have any brow products, so I'm going to do my brows off camera to save some time and I'll be right back. Brows are on and I added a little faux freckle action. Let's move on into eyes. So, I didn't have like a particular eyeshadow palette from Primark. However, I've been dying to try out this cream eyeshadow. It's again giving Charlotte Tilbury. They were like on one with the copying of the Charlotte Tilbury. I haven't even used this yet, okay? Like, so pretty. It's actually gonna match my outfit because I'm wearing pink today. I'm gonna set my lids first with just a light eyeshadow shade. And just make sure there's no creases happening. Now I'm not sure how to apply this because I can't actually dip my finger into it, especially not with nails. So I think what I'm gonna do is take a flat brush, if I can find it. Take a flat brush. Ooh, it's like a cream. Obviously it's a cream, Alia. It literally says cream on, okay. You know what? <laughs> We're just gonna go ahead and. Oh, all right. That's actually so pretty. It gives a really nice wash of color to the lid. But let's see if she creases because no one has time for that, you know? We don't wanna have crusty eyelids. Now, let's just blend. Just. Okay, so what I'm noticing is she is a bit patchy. Okay, so what I'm gonna say is if you use this shadow, I wouldn't really do a thick layer. I'd do it maybe as a teeny topper or just like an inner corner situation because 
I'm really not loving the formula of this. It looks okay from a distance, but up close, it definitely looks like it's separating. Oh, you know what I forgot, completely forgot about? I did have a freaking concealer after all. I'm so sorry. This is the PS color soft focus concealer in a pot. This is clearly duping the MAC pot concealer. I'm very annoyed. That's so annoying that I forgot that. So I'm just gonna go and try to add just the tiniest bit. Right here, just to brighten up the inner corner. It's very brightening. What color is it? it says it's a soft matte finish and it's full coverage. I got the shade Ivory and I haven't used that before. But it seems to be pretty nice. Don't hate me, but I've gone and wiped off the eyeshadow because I completely forgot. I, I don't know how I didn't see it in front of me. About this eyeshadow primer. This is just the eyeshadow base primer. It says stay vibrant and crease free. And this is clearly a dupe for the Urban Decay one. So we have a moment to give her a redemption. So let's give it a go. And it looks exact, I, I've had the Urban Decay one. It looks exactly the same. It's got the little doe foot applicator. Color of the bottle is the same. This one is actually bigger. I got like the small sized one. It was like their little travel sized one when I bought it because it's not cheap. And I like to just go and pat this in. We're just gonna let that set for a second and I'm actually not gonna even go in with a base shadow. We're gonna see how this product works right on top of this primer. Let's try this again. So I've applied less product this time because I learned that is probably the best way to go about it. And I'm just gonna blend again, just make sure everything is nice and seamless. Well, we'll find out at the end if it's creased or not, but right now it's actually looking quite nice. So I would say that this does something for sure. And I love a good eyeshadow primer anyway. Um, I don't really have a big problem with my shadow fading to be completely honest, but you know, on those nights where I'm doing full glam and I need it to last, a primer is great. So she'll be coming with me to Vegas. And now let's move on into mascara. I don't like the Primark mascara. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Never been a fan of it. Anyone's have tried. However, like I mentioned earlier, Catrice is sold in Primark. You can buy this mascara in Primark. This is the Lash Extensions Fiber Maxit Volume Length Mascara. So, we're gonna go in with this. I've tried this mascara before. It's this kind of like chunky wand. And it is a bit messy, like this stuff does get on my eyelids, so I've got a Q-tip on deck. And she does smudge a little, which is sad. This mascara reminds me of if the L'Oreal Lash Paradise and the MAC Stack Mascara had a baby. And what I will say about this mascara is it is very buildable, and it doesn't get clumpy even when you add multiple layers. It's a really wet formula too which I actually prefer. Also, scrape off the excess mascara on your wands. This will definitely help prevent clumping. So I've used this mascara a good few times already in the past, and it's not my favorite. It does give good length and volume, but it smudges and it is pretty hard to apply. It gets all over my lids, which is like, I just don't want to be dealing with that. So for that reason, it's not really my favorite, but it is a dupe for the MAC Stack Mascara, so if you like that, then you'll like this. For lips, I have, I've done this in another video too. They have a Charlotte Tilbury liner and lipstick dupe, but I have a more exciting one for after, a very exciting lip gloss. So I'm just gonna align my lips and put this lipstick on, then we'll move into the exciting part. I decided to only like put a little bit of this on because it's a peachy shade. And what the exciting product is, is this lip gloss. It is the Juicy Gloss in the Bubblegum scent. It's got a pink sparkle to it. Can anyone guess what this is a dupe for? The Juicy Tubes, that's right. So I haven't tried this yet, the very first time. Let's see how she works. Oh. 
that's really good because I was low-key gonna splurge on the actual juicy tubes that they like brought back but now I don't have to. Last but not least is setting spray and I needed a new setting spray anyway, but I picked up this one. This is the Prep and Perfect Refreshing Setting Spray. Spray fixant with aloe vera, niacinamide, and provitamin B5. Now, I could be completely wrong, but I feel like this is giving the max, the max, the MAC fix it setting spray, so we'll see. And the way that it works is it like twists to lock and unlock. That's it. It smells like cookies. <clears throat> okay, that's a really like, like I look drenched right now. That's a really watery formula. Why does it smell funny? It literally smells like cookies. I'm not even kidding. I got some in my mouth. And it tastes fruity. <laughs> okay, let's wait for this to dry and then we'll do a close up of my skin. Okay, we are up close and personal so we can see any and all texture and just the way that the SPF primer is kind of settling into fine lines, especially right in this area and around the nose. It's kind of causing my makeup to separate a bit. But the other products are looking really pretty. No complaints as far as that. Like I said, my least favorite products were definitely the two primers. Didn't love those. The cream eyeshadow is a whatever to me, and then the mascara, which isn't technically a primer mascara. So that is it for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more primer dupe videos in the future, leave me a comment down below or just give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me with the algorithm, and thank you guys so much for watching.